Welcome to the Average app. This app is based on boys and circles. Let's drag in some boys from this button. We click and drag. Each boy comes in with a random color. Now circles we get from here. Six, seven, and eight. Now we can ask, what is the average number of circles per boy? Well, one way to solve this is to add up six plus seven plus eight and divide by three to see how many circles each boy will get if they are distributed evenly. So we click Gather Circles. We have 21, divide by three to get seven. So the average is seven. Let's go on to another page we prepared. So here again we have six, seven, and eight, but this time we can solve this in a different way. Instead of adding all the numbers together and dividing to the number of the boys, we can simply drag this out and put it here so we can reach the answer in a simpler way. Let's move on to the next page. Here it's similar, but this time we have to transfer more circles. So we can color by dragging in one, two, and three. We can let go and then drag these three over here. Once we have the same number of circles per boy, that is the average. Next question. Here, let's create the question with larger numbers. So we'll bring in 10 for this boy. Now bring him another 10. And you can see the circles are organized in rows of five. So we can work with larger numbers. So let's create this question. And we can solve in both methods. Adding them up is not the problem. 10, 20, 30 together is 60, divided by 3, 20. Or we can drag. So sometimes both methods are convenient. In this case, it's easy to simply add them up. 17 plus 23 is 40. 17 plus 43 is 60. 40 plus 60, 100. So let's click Gather Circles. A 100 circles. And divide them 25 each. The average is 25. Here we have two boys, and we can see the average is 8. Now let's put this back here and bring in another boy. Let's say he already has eight circles. Now we can ask, what is the average now? Did it go up or down or stay the same? And this discussion could help explain that if we have a new boy that comes in with the same average, the average doesn't change. If he has more than the average, he has to make the average higher. And if lower, then lower. In this question, the answer is a fraction. So we can drag out a circle, and now, once we have a circle by itself, we will have a new button, Cut Single Circles. We click it, and the circle is automatically divided according to the number of boys. And we can see the answer in each boy gets six and a fifth. So the answer is a fraction. This case is similar, but this time we have two extra circles. We can bring them out one by one. Click Cut Single Circles, and each one of them will now be divided into five. And we simply have to put each fifth in its place on top of the existing circles. And when we put a fifth on top of a fifth, we can see the answer as two fifths. And it's updated also over here. And that's it. This is the Average app. It allows us to solve questions with two methods, by adding all of the circles together and dividing equally, or for moving circles from boy to boy. And so we hope the students will understand both methods and use each one according to what's more convenient for that question. Thanks for watching.